Hi guys, it's Jess from Honest Fiction and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be tier ranking romance book tropes. Alright guys, so before we jump into the tier rank, I tried to pick really popular romance book tropes. For example, One Bed, Surprise Baby, Age Gap, all of those like super popular ones that we see a lot in romance. So I am going to be tier ranking them based on how often I like to see them in books. So this is completely just my opinion. Now if you're unfamiliar with my channel, I post new videos every Thursday and Sunday. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. You can also hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I post new bookish content. You can also check out my Instagram and Goodreads, both linked down below. With all that out of the way, let's jump into the tier rank. Alright guys, so this is a pre-made list I found online, so I am not going to be using all of the tropes listed. And also, if you see me like squinting at the computer, it's because the writing is very, very small. Um, so how I broke this down is God tier, I, it's divine. I love this trope, it is perfect. Then we have love, it's absolutely amazing, it's one of my favorite tropes to read about. Then we have like, it's pretty good. And then we have eh, where it's like, I understand that some people really enjoy this trope personally, it's just not for me. And then last is no and avoid. All right, so starting off, the first one is a little bit controversial. So student teacher. So I'm very leery about reading student teacher because I do work in education and sometimes it comes off super cringy. However, this year in particular, I've read two really good student teacher books. So like Sweet Dandelion by Michaela Smeltzer and then Dark Notes by Pam Godwin are like chef's kiss. So I'm actually gonna put it with love. Had you asked me last year, I would have said it was gonna go with no category. So yeah, there's some really good ones out there. Next up is forks pros oh, I can't even talk. Forced proximity. I love this trope. This is 100% going in God tier. I love when two people just can't stand each other and they're forced to be like, forced to interact and deal with each other and then slowly learn to love each other. And it's just, it's a really fun trope. Next up is bad boy, good girl. Love this. This is also going with love. I kind of think of mafia romance when I think about this or like Beauty and the Beast retellings, Captor Captive. Typically, it's like this really bad, horrible guy kidnaps like the happiest girl ever and then she's able to like change him. So yes, I very much like that trope. Speaking of that, next up is Mafia Romance. So I'm actually going to put Mafia Romance with love. I've read so many good Mafia Romances this year. Uh, the Kingmaker series by Sophie Lark I am currently reading and it is glorious. I love it so much more than the Brutal Birthright series and I really enjoyed the Brutal Birthright series. But yeah, Mafia Romance is really good. All right, next up is Grumpy Sunshine. Surprisingly, I'm going to put this with like. I don't normally gravitate towards Grumpy Sunshine. Um, the only one I can think about that I like really enjoyed was All Roads Lead Here. And then also the Gianna Darling Mafia duet has Grumpy Sunshine and like, except the girl is the grump and the guy is the sunshine. So that's probably why I like that one. So yeah, I'm going to put that with like. Next up is Bodyguard Romance. I'm going to put this with eh only because I don't think I've ever read any bodyguard romances. Um, let me know in the comments if you know any good ones because I've never actually read anything that had that trope. All right, this next one, I hate. So right person, wrong time. I am gonna put this with no and avoid. So I just finished reading A Love Letter to Whiskey and I actually really enjoyed it. I think I rated it four stars. That entire book is right person, wrong time and it is so frustrating. So unbelievably frustrating. So yeah, I'm, I really dislike that trope. That and miscommunication are like the lowest. All right, only one bed, God tier. Has to go to God tier. Uh, Akatar or A Court of Mist and Fury has probably one of the best one bed scenes just because there's so much tension and build up and when they're finally forced to share a bed, you're like, oh my gosh, what is gonna happen? Um, from Blood Nash also has a really good one bed scene. I just, I love it. It's kind of the same as like Forks Proximity. All right, love at first sight. So Insta Love is gonna go with no avoid. I hate Insta Love, Insta Lust. Um, I'm thinking about King of Battle and Blood. I actually did enjoy that book. However, it's Insta Love. Like as soon as the two characters see each other, like they start sleeping together. And I really like more of like a drawn out relationship where like there's so much like tension and angst and then they finally sleep together. So yeah, I don't love Insta Love. Love Triangle is also going to go with God tier. If it is done well and the author hasn't made it obvious who our heroine is supposed to end up with, I love a good Love Triangle. Uh, Drive by Kate Stewart is probably one of my favorites. And yeah, it's just, I love, Love Triangles are great. 
Fake dating. Um, they're okay. I'm gonna put it with like. So immediately what comes to mind is like The Love Hypothesis by Ellie Hazelwood, which was pretty good. It's just not one of my like absolute favorites. Sports romance. So I would typically say I don't like sports romance. However, I love every single sports romance that is written by Eric Mariana Zabata. She just writes the best slow burn sports romances. So I'm gonna put that with like. Single parent, God tier. So A Confidence of Wildflowers by Michaela Smelter and then Misconduct by Penelope Douglas both have single parent dads. And I just love seeing these like really hot guys that are like super sexual with their girl, but then they're just adorable parents and their kids love them. And it's just, I love a really good single parent. All right, next one is Accidental Pregnancy. I don't love this trip. So I, I'm okay with accidental pregnancy. I don't love the fact that almost every single romance book ends with an epilogue about them getting pregnant in the future. Like not every book has to end that way. And then also if our main character gets pregnant, but then doesn't tell the partner and like comes back five years later and is like, you had a kid. I hate that. That is one of my least favorite tropes. And then just accidental pregnancy itself. I just, I'm not a huge fan of. So I'm actually gonna put that with no avoid. Bully romance, Zodiac Academy. So yes, that is also going with love. So I feel like the Zodiac Academy and then the Corrupt series or the Hideaway series, Devil's Night series by Penelope Douglas are like the only bully romances I've ever read, but I loved both of those series. Brother's Best Friend, I'm gonna put that with love. Um, immediately what comes to mind is Inked and Lies by Gianna Darling, but I feel like I've read other Brother's Best Friend romances and really enjoyed them. I know I read one recently, I just can't remember what it is. All right, next one is Friends with Benefits to Lovers. This is fine. I'm gonna put this with eh. Um, it's very similar to like fake dating. Then next up is Workplace Romance. So surprisingly enough, this is gonna go with no, I tried to read The Hated Game. I ended up DNFing that book three times. And then I tried reading another like rom-com type office romance, hated it. Just DNF the Crossfire series, which isn't really an office romance, but a lot of it does take place. Like they do work in the same building. And then I, I just, I don't like office romances. I have no idea why. The only one that I've kind of liked is Devious Lies um, by Parker S. Huntington, but I didn't even like the scenes where they're working together. I liked like every other scene besides those. So I don't know what it is. I just feel like I don't want to be reminded of work while I'm reading. All right, so next up is Enemies to Lovers. God tier, easily God tier. I just love seeing these two people that absolutely hate each other, like slowly start to for, like, form a relationship, fall in love. Yeah, Enemies to Lovers is like one of my favorites. All right, Strangers to Lovers. I don't, that kind of reminds me of like Instalust. I don't really know how that would work. So that's also gonna go with no. Childhood friends to lovers. I do like that trope. So that is also going to go with love. Um, every summer after is childhood friends to lovers. I'm pretty sure in a holidays is childhood friends to lovers. So yeah. Or oh, and in love in other words is also childhood friends to lovers. And a thousand boy kisses. So I've read a lot. All right. Next up is slow burn. So love. If it's done well, I feel I've already mentioned Mariana Zabata, but she writes the best slow burns, and it's just. So exciting to see them like slowly, these people go from like complete strangers or enemies and then they slowly start to form in love and every time it, they get closer into a relationship, you get excited. And when they finally like have sex, it's so worth it. <laughs> so yeah, I really do like a good slow burn. All right, next up is friends to enemies to lovers. I feel like we're getting very specific now. I'm gonna put this with like. Um, all right, next up is, let's see. Sorry, the writing is really small. Age gap, age gap 100% is going into God tier. Um, I have an entire video on age gap romances. I will leave in the cards and in the description. It's one of my favorites. I, I love age gap. All right, next up is, one is famous. So rockstar romances. So I will also, I'll put that with love. Um, my two favorite books so far this year were The Words by AJ and then No Tomorrow by Harry and Cole. And those are both rockstar romances. So once again, if they're done well, I really enjoy them. Right person, not enough time. I am gonna put this, I'm gonna put this with like, because I have two books I'm thinking of and one I absolutely hated and one I loved. So Full Tilt Duet by Emma Scott is right person, not enough time. And that book is so good. 
definitely if you want an emotional duet i highly suggest that one but then a thousand boy kisses is also right person not enough time and i hate that book with a burning passion so yeah it could be good it could also be really bad all right next up is i hate everyone but you um i like this i'm gonna put this with like it's fun i love a good angry character that like doesn't like anyone except for the girl he's madly in love with all right next up is good boy bad girl i actually don't like this very much um i'm gonna put this with eh i might just be basic or i haven't read any good ones but i really prefer when the guy is like super bad and the girl is like the goody two shoes um yeah popular and nerd um i haven't read any so i'm gonna put this with eh. i haven't read any really popular or books about it, like a popular girl that ends. Oh, actually, maybe I have. So, The Words by AJ is also kind of a nerdier girl, ends up with like a popular guy. He's not like the school quarterback type popular. He's more of like the bad boy, but all the girls like him popular. So, I'll put it with like. I enjoyed that part of the book. All right, next up is Vampire Romance. That is going with love. So, Black Sunshine by Karina Alley is like one of my absolute favorite vampire romances. From Blood and Ash, obviously, so good. All right, and then next up is Athlete Coach. So I feel like this is the same as sports romance. Um, the only one I can really think of is Colty, kind of. I did like Colty. And then Waking Olivia, which actually wasn't one of my favorites. So I think I'm gonna put, let's see. I think I'm gonna put that with like. All right, next up is Soulmates. So I love a good soulmate. We're gonna do love. So the difference though, I feel like Faded Mates and Soulmates is different from Insta Love because there's a reason why they're loving each other. I feel like with Insta Love, like I need to know exactly what is causing these people to fall in love right away. With Faded Mates, like you have a really easy out. You can say like these people are fated to be together. So I'll put that in that category. All right, extrovert and introvert. I really like seeing this in books. I feel like I don't see it very often. So I'm gonna put it with like, um, only because my husband and I, this is our relationship. He is so extroverted. He loves being the center of attention and talking to people. And I am much more introverted, so I really like seeing that represented in books. Um, let's see. Hero and villain. I'm also gonna put this with God Tier because I feel like it's kind of the same as like enemies to lovers. And then, let's see. Royalty romance. So I haven't actually read any royalty romances. Um, I know Sierra Simone has one out. I plan on picking it up eventually. So I'm gonna put this with eh, only because I haven't really read any yet. All right, next up is College Uni. So typically I would say that I've kind of grown out of NA as a genre, but like I said earlier, I'm currently re reading the uh, Kingmaker series and that is set in college and I'm loving it. And I also really enjoyed The Deal by L. Kennedy. So I'm gonna put this with like, all right, so next up we have misunderstanding or miscommunication. I feel like a lot of romance books rely heavily on this trope in the third act, and I hate it so much. Um, it's one of my least favorite tropes. I And it's always like the dumbest reasons why these people, or like they're purposely not seeing very obvious things that are in front of them. I, just, I can't stand the miscommunication trope or misunderstanding. All right, and then last up we have holiday fling. So I actually do like this. I'm gonna put this with like, uh, in a Holidays is a really cute like Christmas romance and then the X-Hex is like a cute Halloween romance. So they're always fun reads. They're never super like impactful, but they're really fun to read like during that time. All right guys, thank you so much for watching my romance trope tier rank. Please let me know down in the comments below. What is your favorite trope that you like to see in romance? Now I said this already, I post new videos every Thursday and Sunday. And if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. I will see you all next week. Bye.